YouTube, and this is Peyton from Voice Tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to preview Windows 8 on uh, your own computer, assuming that you have one that's capable of running VirtualBox. Uh, and VirtualBox runs on Linux-based operating systems, Windows, and Mac OS, so uh, pretty much anyone can try this. But first, you'll need to install VirtualBox, which is software from Oracle that allows you to basically run a computer within a computer, and then we'll be creating a virtual machine, VirtualBox is, gets a name from, a virtual machine with Windows 8. And first, you'll need to, uh, first you'll need to install that, and then next you'll need to download an ISO from the, from Microsoft's download page for Windows 8, and uh, just to be safe, uh, I would go with the Windows 8 Developer Preview English 32-bit because um, it's a smaller download size, and unless you're writing programs for Windows 8, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to get. And 64-bit doesn't really matter either because you're not going to like be doing something hardware-intensive in a virtual machine. But uh, that was just my opinion. I've already got mine downloaded, so I will go ahead and go with the tutorial. So in VirtualBox, create the uh, click the new machine icon and then it'll come up with a new virtual machine wizard and then in next I'll just uh, let's name it Windows 8 W8 and then I'm gonna do 64-bit because I got one of the 64-bit versions and there's a Windows oh no not Windows 7 Windows 8 64-bit make sure that on the operating system and version you have the correct selection Windows 8 just without the 64-bit if you downloaded the 32-bit version so just remember that and then click next and this is where you allocate uh, RAM to the virtual machine and I've got a lot to spare so I'm just gonna give it 8 gig but depending on how much you have you should probably give it less but uh, moving on this is where uh, you create the virtual hard disk for the machine and note that the virtual hard disk creates a file on your real hard drive that uh, ends in a .vdi and that file is going to be the size of the hard drive that you give it so if you create I'll just go to create new hard disk and you'll see uh, virtual box disk image is the format that is uh, most supported if you have any errors and you need to google something but um okay well before I get to that file thing um, dynamic sized is uh it creates a file on your hard disk, on your real hard drive, the .vdi, for however the size the size of the files that are on your virtual machine. So, like, if you install 50 gigs worth of data on your virtual machine, it'll make a 50 gig file for the virtual hard drive on your computer. So it won't take up as much space. It'll only take up as much as it needs. And then fixed size just creates. Um, creates a hard a specific size for the virtual machine and I prefer that I don't, I don't know just preference I guess so I'm gonna create one for 50 gig and then I'll create it and this might take a minute so I will pause and resume okay my machine is finished uh, creating itself so um, now that I've got this machine here it shows up in my shows up in my list so if I go to settings with that selected then I go to storage and in IDE controller click on the empty drive and then on this CD icon and if you haven't used this before then you would use click uh, choose virtual CD DVD disk file and then with that browse for your um, the ISO that you downloaded from Microsoft so I've got mine set there and then if I start the machine it will uh, give me this screen that's booting up. Now it's loading files. It gives me this beautiful boot screen. Alright. And now I have the install, so I'll just go next. Install one. Okay, now you should be at the, uh, the install screen, so I'll just accept the license terms. You can scroll down if you feel like 
you should lie to yourself and say that you read them. And then I'll uh, custom to do the complete install and I'll install it over that on that uh, partition. And then this might take a while so I'm gonna pause again. Okay, uh, once it's finished installing you'll need to uh, pretend you read the agreement again and then click accept and then uh, it takes you to the intro thing and I'll name it uh, once you name it it'll take you through um, it'll take you through a bunch of screens where you can either link it to your Windows Live account or Microsoft Live whatever they call it or I'm pretty sure you can just create another account but create just a local account either way it'd be boring for you to watch me do that so I just skipped that okay so once it's done setting up your PC uh, you've got this this screen which has links to all the different a uh, bunch of different things you can click here this takes you to your desktop control panel the app store um, it's, got a, it's got a link to Twitter which I disapprove of um, it, it comes with Visual Studio 11 that's nice Microsoft Expression. These are these would only be here if you got the developer version with developer tools. So that's for you to write programs for Windows 8. And I guess these are some apps that are already here. So yep, that's uh it's Windows 8 and you can try it on your computer within your computer magic.